we are back with another interview. I have the little sister of the other sister. <laughs> You guys all look alike. For your mom has very strong genes. Really? Uh, no, we get that a lot, actually. Like, we were told so many times at a party, and, like, and we also got, we get mixed up a lot, too. Like, as sisters? Yes. Oh, you're like, oh, your names get mixed up. No, not names. We kind of just, like, I don't know how to really describe it, but we Like, just, are they like, like, hey, Josie, and you're like, Tessa? Yeah, that happened okay, one okay, time. Yeah, and yeah. I literally happened one time, and people get my mom and sister mixed up because they look the most They alike. look really alike. It's a little creepy. Your sis <laughs> your mom just looks a lot more cholat out. <laughs> but your sister looks like, you know, there's like different generations of like cholas, right? Yeah. Your mom definitely was like ditchy school, like in the <laughs> early 2000s. Your mom like was fighting no, to Nelly, yeah, she you was, know what I'm saying? And then there's bad. like your sister listening to like, she's gangbanging, but also like K-pop out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like a vibe. That's her. That's literally Are you her. into k -pop? Well, first of all, Tessa, thank you for coming. Of course. I've been trying to get you on Thank here, you but you're, you're, you're just wild. No, so, stop. There's, there's a time for everything. You're, hey, you know, your, your mom has the best intentions for you. Yes. Because we have set it up, and then you just caught the flame, and your mom was like, do no, let's just let's figure it out in a little bit. I was like, mom, no, you're a great mom. Yeah, because things were kind of, like, over the top. So we were letting things, like, die down, and we were just, like, you know, yeah. working on, like, each life. other. Life. Yeah. Life. That's life, dog. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for coming. Of course. Thank you for having me. Of course. I know this is a drive, by the way. I'm so sorry. No, we literally come out here all the time. Have you guys decided to move out here? Not yet? Mm -mm. Nah, you're cool. You're cool where you're at? <laughs> you're like, it's because I don't think we would ever want to move out here to LA. There's too much traffic, and it's just like, I wouldn't really say the industry, but it's just like, you know, we get to stay, stay where we're from. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that is like a big part. Like, when you're here... Like, you got to, like, plan accordingly. Mm -hmm. It's not like I could be like, Tessa, I have an event. Come. And it's, like, an hour before. Yeah. You got you to, gotta, like, plan a whole, like, yeah. literally days before. Yeah. Okay, I feel that, yeah. Nah, me, I be waking up. They be like, hey, we're right here. I was like, I'm on my way. And sometimes that doesn't end well. It's like a Tuesday and I'm blacked out at a bar. I shouldn't be blacked <laughs> out at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. But, Tessa, how old are you and how's life? How old? Wait, what? Yeah. How am I? No, how old are you? Oh, I'm 15 years 15, old. 15, okay. Yes. And um, you're famous at 15? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? I wouldn't consider myself famous. I would consider myself, like, well-known. Okay. But not there yet. Do you or, get treated differently at school? Um, I'm homeschooled, but when I was in school, ah. I was kind of treated differently in a way. But, I mean, overall, it was the same. Like You were, like, teachers, the cool girl, though? Mm. Like, we're, like, random girls, like, hey, TikTok together? <laughs> People wouldn't really be like that, to be honest. It was more just, like, stares or, like, I don't know. It would, I wouldn't genuinely say, like, use me, but, like, it would just be, like, different treatment. Most time. definitely, like, everybody wants to be cool with you. Yeah. Mm. That's what I mostly, like, I disliked it a lot because I You're was like, just, I'm like, just on some normal yeah, like okay. I'm really like I'm literally just like one of you guys. Like yeah, yeah. I'm a human being. I here for my education, like yeah. like that. You're not there for your education. Okay. <laughs> Nobody at 15 like I'm in class for history, fool. <laughs> like that's just because I'm thinking about like when I was 15, I was like in juvenile hall and shit. Like I wish I was booming. I, you know how much life easier would like Josie? Were you in school when you were booming? So like life was a little more easier, huh? Like like let's just be honest. Like we're getting free shit. Like bro. <laughs> Like, I was like, I wish, like, my senior year I would have popped off. Like, I mean, as for a guy, you're like, ooh, more girls. <laughs> you're more booming. You're flyer. You got more yeah. money to do cool shit. Uh -huh. So I'm assuming you're like, oh, damn, I'm booming. But you got to, like, it's, it's, I think girls, I think in general, you guys, your life's a little harder when you guys are booming. Nah, honestly. I mean, there's some, like, pros and cons, but 100%. overall, I feel like it's okay. It's not too bad, yeah. but it's good. I mean, let's just be honest. Like, girls are just, yeah, they're a little sensitive. You yes, know, just, you know, very. Yeah, they're like, a lot sensitive. And, guy, and bro, guys are too. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of crybabies in this moment. You're like, bro, it's not that serious. We make TikToks. So like, <laughs> you know, this used to be musically, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think, I think, I think the way... Like, obviously, you have to, like, have a guard up at four times, yes. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's a trip. That's scary. What was your favorite s subject in school? In school? Oh, I would say ELA, like, literature. I loved, I wouldn't say necessarily, like, reading, but I loved, yeah. like, writing essays and, like, creating a story together. Mm, you should be a podcaster. <laughs> that's literally what life's about. I have. Do you have a diary? 
A diary? I used to. I stopped, though, when my mom went through it once. <laughs> what, fool, that's an invasion of privacy. The, exactly. Wow. Can I, I mean, I don't want to, like, don't give me details, but was uh -huh. it, like, some wild shit in the diary? No, it wasn't really wild. It was necessarily... I fucking hate you, mom. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't say that. It was more of me, like just like being a little crybaby, though. Mm. Oh, you like were that. depressed in the diary. Yes. Well, okay, she was. You thought you were kill yourself. So I would be worried too. <laughs> <laughs> I went through. I remember. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like TikToks of me. I don't know if you ever seen it, and it was just like I've seen my, my emo TikToks, and it was just like <sighs> me. I looked all like you know what alternative. Wow, you just gotta send me the videos and we're gonna insert them here. No. But how how alternative is it? Like your sister being in love with like K pop alternative? No, it was more of like, um, I don't know how to put it, but it was kind of like Like there wasn't like like it wasn't like some suicidal shit, right? No. <laughs> that was like No, it was kind of like anime ish. Oh so it was like anime but like also like alternative at the same time. What are your summer like favorite rock bands? Oh, I didn't really know nothing about. Oh, that. so you're just sad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh. So you're just depressed. I'm thinking like you're going through a phase, like <laughs> the was, world. It was a phase though. It okay, was. okay. You're not it sad was. no more. No, I'm good. I know. I could tell. <laughs> your your life is way better than mine. This fool be a nice ass car living there. I'll be like, damn. Yeah, you I'm at the block there. with the homies. It's depressing over here. But that's crazy. <laughs> So you were never into, like, gothic music, emo music? No, I was, but it would just be, like, the popular ones, kind of. Mm, what was the first song you ever cried to? Like, on your own, in your room, like, I hate life. I think it was um, Can You Feel My Heart by The Horizon. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Yo, you know that, Angie? You know that, Andres? The Horizon? I think that's. I gotta, I gotta listen to oh this. Oh my god! Is it sad? It's a, no, it's embarrassing. It's like rock music, kind of. No, no, I, I love rock. Uh huh. I'm, I'm a, my mom are rockers. I'm a fan of The Cure, The Ramones, but like, I think your rock and my rock is totally different. The Horizon. This is embarrassing. No, it's not. Yes, this it, is you. Just wait till you hear it, though. This is I, not me no more. This was me. I grew up playing water polo. That's embarrassing. <laughs> think about that, fool. I had tattoos playing in the water with other kids. <laughs> the hor bring me to the horizon. No, I think it was the horizon. What was the name? It was. Um, can you feel my heart? I found it. Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Let's go to the lyrics. We're gonna bleep this, but. Hey, mom, mom, hey, mom, we need a mental check, mom. <laughs> <laughs> But it was like a phase. No, it was a phase, yeah. Okay. Like, everyone saw it. My Like, everyone knows in my family that I go through, like, different phases in my life. I'm kind of like, well, I was a trend hopper. I don't know why. The fool, we're kids. Like, at yeah. 15, I wanted to fucking jump off a roof like Superman if I could. <laughs> but then I knew I'd die, fool. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was basically What was it. your favorite trend you hopped on? Um, Honestly, I would say... There was like my anime phase, but it was before I got into alternative because mm. I feel like I was like kind of just doing my own thing. I was always watching shows. I was always on my like PC gaming setup and it was like with my online friends. And I was kind of like, I was like, that was my happiest time, I think. Oh, I shit. would say. So you're yeah. not happy now? <laughs> no, no, I would say that was my happiest time. Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I'm happy <laughs> Your now. Your sister's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let her be a child you guys you guys okay i, I want to get this out the fucking way right now because fool i hate like this like narratives that just be pushed on people like fool we are fucking human dog we make mistakes yes. in life dog like i'm a fuck up i fucked up before like mm -hmm. hey fool like what am i supposed to do fucking sit here and be like i'm sorry every time like, no we're gonna fuck up in life but fool that's cool that you like you were like depressed i mean i guess <laughs> like, like yeah. what like phase are you in now um I wouldn't necessarily. I'm in a phase. Right I was trying now. to judge your fit, and it was giving like still alternative, but like <laughs> it looks like you want to ride a motorcycle. No, I kind of, I kind of just threw this on to be mm, honest. Okay. But I wouldn't say I'm in a phase. I'm kind of just like doing my own thing now, and just like doing whatever, hanging out with friends, spending time with my family. Okay, yeah. But I'm not really like, getting like a peace of mind. Yeah, like I'm more of like in peace with myself, kind of. Mm. <laughs> are you? Are you kind of like like? Like, don't, like, are you, like, are you regretting not going to school? 
Um, I mean, there's that times like when I'm home and I'm just like, wow, I kind of miss like my friends from school. Yeah. And, and my teachers, like I loved my teachers. I got along with all my teachers and I would always like, I would be the kid to like go inside their classroom and eat lunch with them. While so I you were there. a loser? No. <laughs> I wasn't a that loser. That is called a nerd, and you didn't know it. My, no, you too. She would do that too. Hey, mom, that wasn't you, huh? Mom was like, hell no, I was thugging. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I would literally, that's like the times that I miss school, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, I kind of get the opportunity to like go to events um, while I'm doing online school at the same time. Like, because mm. all I have to do is like log in and just attend and then do schoolwork like, yeah, yeah, later. Yeah. But I feel like, Homeschool is also a very good thing to help for my mental health because it really, like, I don't know how to really put it. No, no, I fool. Like, I, I know what you went through, and I've uh -huh. gone through something similar a hundred times more serious than you have. Your shit's a lot more, like, she said, he said, she said, yes. he said, which is, like, like it's kind of like a high school thing. It's going to happen. It happens to everybody. Mine was, like, very serious to where, like, Shit could have happened, so mm -hmm. the only advice I could give you fool is that that's life, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, like I was like, I'm like a, an observer, right? And obviously we do the same fucking thing, just mm -hmm. to different type of uh, um, crowds, and and like you know you have a, a a girl fan base, a younger girl fan base, and obviously yes. I do more, I do a lot, I do comedy, and like so my my what I what I I'm allowed to say, I'm allowed to say way more than you are, mm -hmm. but fool like. Are are you gonna fuck up in life? Hell yeah, fool. Do you make mistakes? Do you do fucked up shit? Yes, fool. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. Whoever tells you they think they're fucking, you're not perfect, dick. Nobody. I'm not perfect. Your mama not perfect. Your ugly ass daddy ain't perfect. The ugly ass kid you raising is not perfect. You're gonna fuck up. I fucked up. Mm -hmm. Andres, you fucked up. Andres don't fuck. Angie, you fucked up in life before. Fool, you're gonna. My mom fucks up to this day. <laughs> fool, my daddy fucked up his whole life. He died a, a, a drug addict. Fool, you're going to fuck up. Yeah. You got to take accountability? Yes. Like, you got to sit there and be like, hey, you know what? That one was me. I'll take that one. I'll fuck. I'll take that one to the chin. But <laughs> as long as you acknowledge that shit, you move on. That's life, fool. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's, it's going to fucking happen. Though, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like you're in a better place. I, I definitely was looking at the videos, and I was like, ah, oh, pobrecita. <laughs> I wanted to send you like a like like fucking like a box of pizza like Aww. eat it away dog you know what I'm saying yeah but you seem happier now yeah I am that's cool that's cool that's cool and I feel like that's what a lot of people don't understand is that people like yeah. overall are humans yeah. and they just think just because you're an influencer or you're well known that you have to be this perfect image bullshit so yeah it yeah really nah is. fool. Do it up, fool. <laughs> go break a leg. Go break an arm. Go cut your hair. Go get bangs. <laughs> if you're young, fool. When you're older, then you're like, oh, you can't be like, yeah. like, I'm not like, it's like my mom always gives me this example, right? Where like, at a young age, I mean, I was a really bad kid. Mm -hmm. But then I'd still do shit that I did at 15 and she'll be like, fool, you already did it. Get over it. And it's like how I tell my homies, like, drinking and driving, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't put that on nobody. I don't want everyone. But if... Like, dog, you can't be doing that that age of 30, fool. Like, you just yeah. can't, fool. Like, can't be like, it's just one of those things to where, like, you learn, you're allowed to make mistakes at this age, mm -hmm. fool, and just fucking do it up. Yeah, fool, like, run away from home. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> My sister ran away from home at, at your age. <laughs> oh. she, she's a great mom now, but she was wild then, you know? But she made the mistake then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I was like that when I was little. Like, I would, You were running like, away from home? No, oh, I would, shit. like, threaten to be like, oh, I'm going to run away just because you didn't let me do this. Would you pack your bags? Yeah, but I never actually did it. There was one time where I, like, packed and everything, but I just, like, kept it in my room. Mm. And I just, I don't think she knows, but now she knows. <laughs> You packed your bags and you just sat on them? Yeah. <laughs> I sat there all angry. I definitely ran away like for an hour. I was like, What'd I'm out of here. Fuck this. What'd you do for that hour? I fucking went to the corner to the homies house and it was just like, I was like, yeah, fool, I'm done. I'm not going back. And I just went right back when the food was ready. It was up from there. But like, fool, you got to go back to high school for your senior year. Yeah, I definitely am planning on doing that for like the events. Bro, it's sick. You really think so? Bro, my senior year has, like, it was, like, one of the funnest times of all time. Really? Like, you graduated from eighth grade? Um, no. I... You didn't culminate. Okay, I didn't Wait. either. Culminate. Uh, eighth grade. 
like what? You didn't graduate from eighth grade? Oh no, I did. That's called a promotion. Oh, okay, okay. So we call it culminating. It's culminating. Is it the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did Did you do all the fun eighth grade shit? Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I didn't do them either. I'm not judging you. I didn't no, do them either. I didn't because I took the blame for someone in my eighth grade year, and um, I ended up getting suspended. Oh, you were selling drugs. No. 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it was like involved in that, but I didn't like yeah. ever do it. But I but you took the blame. Yeah, I took the blame, so I missed my eighth grade field trip and then my dance. Oh, that's whack. See, yeah. like, senior year, just going there for... Because, like, I was really bad, but shout out, like, I had cool teachers, too, where mm -hmm. they were like, hey, fool, we're going to, like, we already dealt with you for three years. This is your last year. We just we just want you to graduate. Uh -huh. And they were, like, I got in fights. I was house arrest. I was in and out juvenile, but I still ended up graduating. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go to prom. Uh -huh. But I did do, like, the senior sunrise. Uh -huh. I did the senior after party. We did the grand night. Bro. That's what I'm looking for. Bro, it was night. fucking like it's it built memories. Yes, it does. Wait, where'd you go for grad night? Ah, uh, we went to Six Flags. Oh, I was planning on going to um, cause the high school that I was gonna go to. Yeah. They got like I think banned from Disneyland, but my other school that I'm also gonna go to, I think they have like the opportunity to go to Disneyland, so oh. I think I'm gonna go there instead, the, just for grad night. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the Six Flags shit was cool cause it was like an adult thing, like. Uh -huh. It was more like, oh, we're all like grow big kids and you yeah. want to get on the rides. I heard Disneyland was kind of boring. Was it? Well, yeah. I have from, no clue. <laughs> I've yeah, never been there for granted. You've never been to Disneyland at all? No, I've been, I love going to Disneyland. Like, that's my favorite place ever. Okay, like, okay. My favorite theme park out of every single one. That's crazy. I'm, I'm not a fan. I don't like kids. Really? Yeah, I don't like, like, I don't want this little white, like, like little white hunter <laughs> behind me, like, just crying. <laughs> To his mom about how much he wants, like, me, me, me. Like, I'm just not down for it. I feel like I love Disneyland. It's because, like, the whole point of the place is, like, more of, like, I wouldn't say the rides or the people, but it's just, like. The environment. The environment, yeah. The environment there with, like, the castle. And then you over here, you have, like, all the Disney movies, like, all in one place. That's why I love it so much. Yeah, you know what it is? And I the food. The food is the best about Disneyland. I heard the turkey legs are fire. I've never had Gas? it. Gas? You never had it? Mm-mm. Fire? Yeah, like, uh, and, and I think it's, like, I think now it's become a big couple thing. Yes, it has. And I'm not booed up, fool, so I don't know how <laughs> I feel about, like, going to Disneyland and just, like, mm -hmm. maybe you got to find the right one. I mean, I'd be going with my best friends. Like, I've but taken two of my best friends there before. It was vibes? Yeah, it's really okay. fun. I think it's a girl thing. Like, you was like, oh, my God, I wanted to be a princess one day. <laughs> like, I never wanted to be Mickey Mouse, you know? No, I was a princess at Disneyland before. I went to, like, this whole bippity-boppity boutique, and they got me ready like a princess. They, at like, a younger age? Yeah. Okay, okay, No, okay. right now. <laughs> I was like, I was like, fuck, I think you're a little old. <laughs> Are you, um, I had my first love at 15. Like, I was, like, in love at 15. Mm -hmm. Have you been in love yet? Ooh, oh, you have! <laughs> oh, we talked about this. You're a piece of shit, Josie. <laughs> we talk. Okay. Oh my. I totally. That totally slipped my mind to ask this question. You have been in love. Yeah. Wow. Mhm. Mm Do you sing her song sometimes? Uh, <laughs> yes. Crying? No, not crying. Honestly. In the corner. You should have recorded that. Okay, let me break this down because you and her seem to have a domino effect. Like. Hey, fuck Tessa at the same time. Like, <laughs> you guys were not anybody's favorite people at the same time. You know what? At least you guys did it together. Yeah. That's all that matters. I feel like... <laughs> my... <laughs> okay, Tessa. I like you for being you. For keep being you, dog. But yeah. Okay, so you have been in love. Yes. Wow. Talk to me about it. Um, I don't know how to really describe it. Because I feel like mine was unexpected it was very unexpected because we yep. followed each other for a while and then she started joining my lives and then that's on tiktok I, no it was on instagram IG, IG, IG. yeah it was before i even started doing tiktok lives like and then i kind of started like dming her asking oh so you saw your shot yeah i shot my shot but she also shot her shot oh trying to secure the bag I <laughs> No, but when I really got to know her, like, we would literally FaceTime day and night, talk every single day, and it was for, like, so long, like, I don't know, and then after things, like, kind of ended is when I felt like, I was depressed for five months, like, I literally felt, like, so empty, like, 
that was the first person I've ever like actually loved. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't, don't start crying on here, fly. No. I, I get nervous when people cry. Like, no, like air hug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but like she was really the first person I've ever loved, and oh, shit. still to this day, I still have so much love for her. And the way things ended, I wish they didn't end like that. Like now, I wish we were just like friends on mutual terms. Yeah, you're a dick. <laughs> you're a piece of shit. No, <laughs> like, I was kind of. <laughs> I was kind of encouraged to make the video because, like, um, my friend of mine at the time was all like, "Do it. She deserves it." Da da da. And she was also friends with her. Yeah. So she was just like, "I know how she is. Like, she deserves it." Da da da. So I was like, "You know, right? I mean." You're right, because, like... At the moment, that was the way you felt. Yeah, I felt like... Because I felt like she did me so dirty. Yeah. So I was just like, you know what? I want the world to know how you made me feel, da 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 And I felt like that was the biggest mistake I could have done because I lost her. Yeah. And I lost all connection. But, I mean, it is what it is now. You completely and, lost connection? Like, you're I blocked? Mean, yes. <laughs> I would block you too, fool. No, I would block myself too. Like, it's very understandable. But, fool, that's what I'm saying to where, like... Like... I think you know what it is that the only reason it felt like it was bigger than what it was is because what both of you guys do for a living. Yes. So and like the one thing I felt like you guys probably were like, this is our thing. It's nobody knows we're private. Like we're allowed to be us. Me at the time, I kind of wanted it to not be private. Tell me what you're doing, <laughs> that was one of the funniest shit of all time, by the way. But yes, no, no, I get what you're saying. Sorry, man, I'm gonna interrupt no, you. No, you're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like at the time I didn't want to be like, cause I didn't have the understanding yet of why we wanted to be so private. But now that I'm like, I now that I know, it's just like I get why because I'm that way now. Like with other people that I'm talking to, like yeah. I want it to be kept private. Yeah. Even if they're in the same industry as me, it's because like social media really does like ruin things for you. Like, and it gets in people's heads so I understand and I feel like that's where I really like messed up yeah it's like a rare occasion to see somebody really like like you gotta give like I think I talked to Benny about it um mm -hmm. he's he's with a laundry and I was like hey does it ever he's like he's like yeah but not really and I'm like I don't know they might and maybe because they're older it might be a little different yeah but I don't know if I would be able to date somebody that does the same thing I do like no it's understandable I might be a little toxic go like what bitch <laughs> you wanna whatever and bitch you better Go oh, home, bitch. It's over with. Oh, that's why you have your boyfriend with you everywhere now. Ha uh, ha! That's right. What's his name? What did we name him last time? Babe. That's right, babe. <laughs> Do it up, babe. You're not going nowhere alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And life. I, yeah, I feel like with us though, I feel like since we were both in the same industry, we like we would hear other people tell us things and like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like stories, like horror yeah, stories, technically. Yeah, basically, and it's just like, oh, watch with like this person is doing watch what this person is doing or like seeing them post with someone and it's just like you feeling like a little like jealous inside it's just overthinking like, yeah and it's very hard but but also like she's like a a-list celebrity compared to us like this is a girl that's like very beautiful very talented her whole team right they do mm -hmm. what they do there's somebody that fucking travels the damn yeah. near the fucking world to fucking sing because what fools it's a rare fucking occasion where you see yeah. somebody have that voice so and a lot of them are like you know it's like it's a very manageable thing to where yeah. they're managed by somebody and it's like a lot of advice giving you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying like i'm pretty sure even now you don't just send your address to anybody no you don't just like let anybody grab your phone mm -mm. you don't just let it you know like when you're comfortable at home you you know people around you be like hey act right like Mm -hmm. Like when my homies bring their homies around me, and I'm not saying I'm like this big person, right? But mm -hmm. we do have like some type of like way where people are looking at us, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, don't like if I'm being me with my best friends, don't let your homie come record me when I'm being me. Yeah. Like yeah, and, and keep in mind I'm always me. Yeah. But you know, like privacy. Yeah. So I, you gotta understand. So I totally understand where you were coming. You were hurt. It was like a hurt thing. Yeah, it was. I reacted out of emotion. Why didn't you just go like break like a car window? <laughs> That's like the I'm normal. I'm telling thing. you, it was because I was on FaceTime with my friend at the time, and she was like encouraging me, and it was like she deserved it. Da, da da da. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I should like she deserves like to feel the way I feel, like embarrassed online because. I was looking stupid. And yeah, you I were. Um, to look stupid, what's but. the word? You were uh, not denied. Um, you weren't claimed. Yeah. Yeah, somebody don't claim me. I'm tripping. <laughs> Fuck you. Damn. 
That's why I felt a certain way, but I mean, which is biased. Uh, looking back at it, it was like a very wrong thing to do, and I wish I could take it back. But food, you just need like the healing period. Yeah. Like give it like another six months, and then go to a, buy a ticket to a show, VIP, buy the meet and greet. <laughs> she can't turn you down for the meet and greet. It's a bad idea. I'm fucking giving horrible advice. No, like someone I know that they were dating like an artist and they did they the bought same a exact thing. <laughs> they did the same exact thing. She was telling me, she's like, you should do it too. Da, 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 da. They bought a like, meet and greet ticket? No, not a meet and greet ticket. Oh, they, she they... went to the concert of his. Oh, nice. Yeah, and she did it and uh, they got back together after that. Let me look up her dates. <laughs> I'll buy it for you, fool, right now on, on live. Let me see. You're yeah. not going to do that. Shout out her for wearing my merch, by the way, in her show at Riverside. <laughs> were you there? Oh, you weren't. Sorry. No, but it was very close. I was considering it. You were cons- I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay. Can, uh, Angie, can you help me? Look, you know what we're talking about, Angie? Okay, I'm going to just text you, Angie. And look up the closest show dates. <laughs> we're going to get you these tickets, bro, right now. There's no way. I'm paying for them. Uh, you want to go by yourself? You want to deal with like the heartbreak if she does ignore you by herself? Or you're down to be with your family? <laughs> I know a guy there. I'm you not know, again, okay, let me see. That's fucked up, huh? <laughs> but damn, that's crazy. But um, all right, I'm sending you this, Angie. Just look up the closest dates. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> On the business card, shout out Cheese with Duna. <laughs> but um, wow, well, yeah. I mean, I think it's like a, it's like a, it's a process. You got to let them heal a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And so you're blocked on everything. Yes. And On I- TikTok too. Um, no, not on TikTok. Oh, you could DM on TikTok now. You got to do it up, pops. <laughs> but I feel like I kind of think she's, like, preventing herself not to because of, like, I know that her sister is her manager, so it kind of made things worse. Which but I, I also have a lot of love and respect for her sister because yeah, yeah. she just wants what's right for 100%. her. 100%. So, like, she did, like, she did everything right, and I understand what they did and how they're handling it with me, but... I mean... Also, this is the harder times in both of you guys' life. Mm-hmm. And sometimes a negative time and another negative time, they it makes a positive time. <laughs> like, like I know when I'm heartbroken, the first girl that I consider, like, my first love, like, I'll hit her. Like, when I'm going through shit, like, like mental shit or, like, mm-hmm. fool, motherfucker, as funny, as, like, as loud and, like, as much shit as I talk and, like, clown, a motherfucker be sad, too. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, you got to hit somebody. Do you find any tour dates? Text them to me. Or just say them all loud. Any of them in California? January 13th. Oh, the crypto, January 13th. <laughs> I know a guy at crypto. We'll figure you out. We'll sneak you in there. <laughs> but no, yeah, I think it's like, like there's a healing process to everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like I said, yeah, you, you do got to respect their craft and what they mm-hmm. do. And you just got to be like, when is the right time? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. If, even if you have the address... Send them a PR box of your new merch or, <laughs> uh, or like some like makeup shit. But Josie was telling me the other day, like if her and her man ever break up, she's sending hella makeup PR packages to his house. Josie's crazy though. How is she crazy? Yes. Oh, cause she talked a lot about you. You should break down some of the things. <laughs> no, like her. Oh my. Does she stab gosh. her man? No. <laughs> she, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You hesitated. No. <laughs> I didn't mean to hesitate. No, she's just crazy. Like, she's a toxica. Okay, like, yeah, but break down talk, toxica. I was going to say toxica. Uh, <laughs> break down toxica. I don't know how to really explain it. I just remember one night they were arguing, and then the next morning she, like, wakes up crying, and then she goes to my mom's room, and she's like, let's go to his house, da 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 And my mom's like, okay. So they drive. Your mom's to- very supportive, by the yeah. way. <laughs> so they drive. All the way to L.A. in the break of dawn in the morning. I remember. Whoa, what time? Like 5 a.m.? No, not 5 a.m. More like 8. I'm going to say 8. Mm, that's a lot of traffic time. <laughs> you must really love this guy. So they go to his house, and then they were arguing. So she goes, they work <laughs> it out. Fool. They work it out, whatever. And then literally right after that, they come back home. Nice. With him or they left him there? No, they left him there. But okay. like, they, she literally just went to his house. I'm trying to like, break this down, right? Because as, as a Latino's households. Mm-hmm. Toxic is the thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like, be mad or whatever situation is. Yeah. He's Korean? Mm-hmm. Vietnamese. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, you screamed at this man in front of his Viennese mom? <laughs> Did it be different? There's a lady that, like, like, like he's screaming at, like, uh, like, another Latino in front of another Latino. It's like, ah, he's tan peleando. <laughs> his mom was probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> She thinks you're joking. 
Oh, like mother, like like like. Hmm. Are you a are you like a finger person? What do you mean? One of my exes does this thing when she's like trying to get her point across while we're fighting. It's like this fucking finger. Like I'm fucking talking to you. Oh yeah. And, well, you I wouldn't say finger. I would just be like. Like you're like it's in the yeah, face. Yeah, like that. Mm. I wouldn't be like that. Pretend I'm that person and I just finished singing about a song that this is you. <laughs> Scream at me right now like you're mad. Scream I did this. At you? I did. Okay, okay. Do you know who Mo V is? No. Money Mo. No. She's with the uh, with the with, with the Murillo sisters. So she was telling me a story about how she like got into where her ex suegra, uh-huh. and she went crazy. Like I made a clip about it. So pretend you're mad at me mm-hmm. because I didn't claim you. Go. <laughs> I don't know how you want me to do this. Just fucking, like, Just anything. The, don't stare at me like you're going to stab me, by the way. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. okay, do I need a towel? Huh? Over my head? No, no. Okay, okay, I okay. I won't hurt you. I won't touch you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. ready? Okay, let me, hold up. I'm going to laugh. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to laugh, too. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> deep breath, deep breath. Give me, give me, like, five seconds. All right. Okay. So, why are you keeping these? <laughs> okay. All right, one more time, one more time, one more time. Okay, ready? So, why are you keeping me a secret? I'm an artist. That isn't, like, okay, and I'm an influencer. What does that have to do with anything? Just I'm way more famous than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's maybe not try that because I go into actor mode. Fool, I'm supposed to go crazy. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Are you like a disser family? A diss? Like, um, my sisters have this thing where they're arguing with their man. Like, fuck your mama too, bitch ass nigga. Like, what, what? <laughs> like um, are you the type? Um, I don't know. Because I haven't seen myself like angry in a while. Because I haven't been in like a relationship mm. with talking stage in a while. Yeah, my sister's been together with their man for a very long time. Mm-hmm. But they like, fuck you, your mama, your sister. I'm like, damn, what did his mom do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I feel like you should have just... Threw a rock at the car, <laughs> just to get my anger out. Yeah, I mean that's just like more shit. Like that's like the simple way of life. The thing is though, like when I posted the video, the video it was like three a.m. or it was like two to three a.m. and I was just like up on the phone and I was just like. And then you fell asleep. That's it. I literally fell asleep and right after I posted up, the video. And, and then. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> did he walk downstairs like hey? <laughs> Everybody was just looking at you like, what the fuck did he do? No, because then I literally got woken up to my mom being like. They're calling <laughs> to take it down. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I've been through those. Sometimes my jokes go like, like I'm like, like I don't give, I just don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like I did that with Oscar de la Oya. I like, we had interviewed him and we did a caption. What did, what did my caption say? I'm like, yeah, shout out this crackhead, just like my daddy. <laughs> or something. And the team was like, eh, maybe you got to take that. Time. I was like, all right. That's crazy. It'd be like that. Mm-hmm. Live yeah. life, though, fool. No, I Do have... more of those videos. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I was like, I don't know about that one. Would you be down for, like, a Doce Corazones reunion vibes? Like, a reunion? Like, have you seen, like, Baddies West, Baddies East? I've never watched it. Oh, what about Bad Girls Club? mm You've seen all those. Like, Jersey Shore? Like, the reunion? I've seen Jersey Shore, but, like, I haven't really watched it. Okay, you never it. watched... You're 15. I forget. <laughs> okay, Baddies... Okay, do you know what Bad Girls Club is? No. I don't really watch like. Fool, shows. you gotta just like go home, go to Tubi, and watch all these old shows where bitches just fight, <laughs> boom, 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 and there's beef about everything. Your mom and your sister know. Okay, so they do this thing after every season mm-hmm. where they have a reunion and talk about every problem. We should get all these people <laughs> that you've had an issue with for the last year, and maybe like maybe December twenty third, uh-huh. December twenty fourth. We'll figure it out. No, December twenty third is too close to Christmas. <laughs> but uh, December thirtieth, and we sit you guys in a room, we put cameras, <laughs> and you guys just express your feelings. Mm-hmm. And we have big security everywhere. You guys want to get it out the way? We get it out the way. We give you guys gloves, and you guys just get in. That's a way to solve problems these days. Is it really? Yes. The words ain't taking over. You still you're blocked, fool. <laughs> I feel like that's something my mom and sister would do. That's why, fool. Their team, your team. If you're watching right now, you're probably wondering, do no. Why did you stop the interview? Let me tell you why. Because of Price Picks. Shout out Price Picks, you feel me? You can use code DUNO, D-O-K-N-O-W, DUNO, DUNO, to win some money, you feel me? You feel me? Play some, just have fun, you feel me? Price Picks always has the good deals. 
100% deposit with $100, you could win some Fool, you could get rich off watching this interview and using the Corduno. Fool, you ever want to get rich? I want to get rich. You want to get rich? I want to get rich. So use prize picks and use the Corduno. You could, you feel me? Go for the Dodgers. <sighs> you could go for the Astros. Or you could go for San Diego. Fuck both these teams, though. You feel me? You could always go for the LA Dodgers, the LA Kings, the Rams, the Chargers, the Lakers, use price pick, use Corduno. Let's go. Have you ever fought your sister? Yeah, that's funny you say that. She beat your ass? No. You beat her ass. <laughs> that's right. She lied? No. It's funny that you bring that up because it was actually recent. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's why I have this right here. Wow. Whoa. Hey, hey. What's going on at the house? <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm the only boy mm -hmm. and I have three older sisters, so we could never, phys like, we could, we, we physically fought. Mm -hmm. But I would do shit like, you know how you girls have this thing about putting perfumes and fucking your mousse and your lotion in one big cabinet yeah. on top? I just pass by and drop everything. <gasps> oh, I'm I would have been mad. So I'm cutting curling irons, wires. Bang. You would do that? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a piece of shit, fool. Do you I would know do that. how much those are? I don't give a fuck. I, ain't, I don't need them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But those do shit like I'm, I'm in the middle of like a video game and don't unplug the shit. But it's different because she, like, she's kind of like a bully, right? Because she's older. Uh -huh. My older sisters were like that. Like, don't treat me like shit, fool. Like, mm -hmm. like they were kind of mean. Mm -hmm. So why'd you guys fight? <laughs> Honestly, I forgot why. You but... have more followers than me. No. no? <laughs> it wasn't. But I remember it was just, like, us play fighting, and then it just, like, escalated. Or oh. That was, like, one of the times. And then the other one was just, like, us just arguing and then with her, for some reason, she gets like anxious and then she starts like pressing you. And then me, I don't like, I don't like getting pressed or like getting any of that. So I kind of like post stuff and I'm just. How's she pressing you? Um, She just says stuff and then she goes like up to me like that. Whoa, what and a then, dick, what a bully. <laughs> and then I just go back and then I. But I like, when I look at the height difference, I'm like, this is, Josie's way fucking taller than you. <laughs> That's like unfair fade right there. Um, Honestly, no, it just. Um, I feel like with fighting, though, like, it doesn't matter about height or weight or anything. If I had $10,000 like, right now, who would you want me to put your money on, my money on? It depends on how my day is going. Okay, let's just say... With nails or no nails? Okay, no nails. No, okay. nails, because you're like, that's your thing. Mm -hmm. like you have no... Okay, your nails are black, too. You're really depressed. <laughs> no, black just goes with everything with my outfits. That's okay, why. okay, you have nails. Okay. No, mm, she has nails or no nails? I mean, I've had nails. Like okay, that. okay, okay. So let's say you have nails, uh -huh. and you just got blocked. By her? No, no, no. By the other person. So oh, you no. said it depends how your day's going. I so you got your nails done for her, but then you got blocked How's before her the day. day. Going? How's her day going? Yeah. She just came back from LA, uh -huh. but she didn't fix the issue. She drove there for no reason. Mmm. Mm. Honestly, I would say... Probably even fight, huh? Even. It would either be even or she would have a higher chance. Mm. Because when she's... When her and her bar boyfriend are arguing, she's, like, in the worst mood ever. Like, Oh, God. What she could have the best day, and then if they're arguing, like, it shuts down. Like, What do you think they argue about? Whose food is better? <laughs> I don't know what they be arguing about, to be honest. Maybe K-pop? No, when they're together, they literally, like, they talk like babies. They, they're, like, adult babies. Oh, they do little babies. Yeah. She says, ah. she says, babe. She always says, babe. Like, babe. And I'm all like, I always tell her. I'm oh, like, they're cringy. Yeah. Uh, do you like him? Yeah, he's a very sweet boy. Mm. He, why you say it like that? What? Is he like, Is you think he's sweet because of his culture? Um, I don't know. But he's very nice and he's like respectful towards her. So, I mean, I would say that I like him. But I don't like, I'm not close to him to like know mm. him that well as much as she does. Is he like, is he like a family person? Yeah, I mean, he's literally... He's a family person. Her and um, him slept in my mom's bed before with my mom there. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, we got to slow. You got to rewind. No, it's like my mom's right here, and then my sister's right here, and then he's right there. Were you guys all drunk? No. Oh, you guys were just bonding. <laughs> yeah. 
Weird way to fucking bond, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> go to your fucking room, Josie. What about that? Get the fuck no, out of my room. No, she bed. does say that. She does tell her to like go back to her room. Like, yeah, the, the, but my mom, my sister's always ooh. like, no, we're just spending time. This is, here. this is a better question. You think your mom loves Josie more than she loves you? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Why? What makes you say that? You don't get posted as much. <laughs> um, no. Oh, you're picky. Yeah, I'm very picky. Mm. I'm. It's only because. So you don't want to be loved. I'm telling you, depressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was a time though when I was in like my little alternative era. I was very like, I never wanted to be posted because, because of the reason of the TikToks of me getting like, bashed on. Yeah. But she would always post pictures and videos of me like my mom, and I would be so mad. Like it would cause like a big argument because I would never want to be posted like looking like that. I was very insecure, and it was bad, like to the point where it's just like I wanted to change. Oh, like, Tessa. I hated it. I like how you were like, I was mad that my mom loved me. <laughs> There's kids with no moms, Tessa. I'm sorry. God. No, stop. When you so put it evil. like that, it sounds wrong. But. No, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> I don't have a dad, fool. So, like, uh, appreciate you. Know, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, maybe, mom, text me if we need to cut that out, mom. <laughs> wow, you don't have a dad? No, I mean I'm just I, fucking it wrong. You don't gotta get super <laughs> deep into it. Oh shit, that that gave a that gave a Angie, you have a dad? Uh must be nice, Angie. <laughs> Tessa, no dad gang, eh? No, I like had one, but like but, oh, what? <laughs> No, he's still alive, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, I don't dude, know. I, dude, I was I just interviewed Angie, shout out her, and we were having like this dad jokes back and forth. <laughs> And she's like, no, he's there, but he's not. She's like, no, it was like know. absent but present. Like that's how it was for like the 15 years mm, of my life. Okay, yeah, don't cry, fool. It's okay. No, I'm not gonna cry. Mine just died. <laughs> oh, I'm. So, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> I, it, it, fool is okay. <laughs> Cheers to our dads that aren't there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Shout out you and your dad. <laughs> no, but I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say that's why when people like hate on my mom so much on the internet and they're all like, look, she's doing this with her daughter, da, da da da. I'm just like, and they're always like, where's her dad, blah blah blah. I'm all like, my mom has been like raised me for the 15 years that I've been alive. Yeah. Like, yeah. I basically acting like a single mother while my dad was like absent but present. Like he was financially supporting, of course, but he was never really like like there, emotionally like how there. my mom was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out your mom, cause. Mm -hmm. I mean, fool, like I like said. She's in so yeah, much. fool. Moms, right? I think as a mom raising daughters is probably harder than a mom raising like your like your brother's your mom's world, right? Yes, yes. That's easy, fool. Like he's like the favorite child for her. My mom, fool. I wake like when I lived with her, it's like I wake up and it's like webbles. <laughs> and just know they'll be ready. Like if I come home from an event and I go shower, by the time I'm out, there's food in the table. Like, the love of a mother is a whole different world than the love of a... Mm -hmm. Like, you guys are going to clash. Either it's two women, you know, you're a young mm -hmm. woman being raised, you're a young lady. Yeah. It's, you, it's going to... You, you're not going to see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. With a fucking mom and a son and a mom, the love is... Like, for it's, um, it's unbreakable. For it's unbeatable. Yeah. Like, your mom sees your, your brother and it's like hard eyes all over. <laughs> That's how my mom sees me, fool. Like, my mom's like... I'm like, mom, I have any of you. Can you come clean my house? She's like, I'm on my way. Like, I'll figure something. Like, she'll come clean it. Like, it's just different. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sorry for you not having a dad, though. Oh, no. You have daddy uh, issues? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like, like you not having a dad? Is that why you became lesbian? No, I'm not lesbian. What are you? I'm bi. Like, I like guys and girls. Same thing. No, I'm not lesbian. <laughs> just to put it out there. <laughs> wow. How'd you come out to your family? Are they all there for they knew? Yeah, well, they kind of knew. Like, they had suspicions of it, but um, my... Okay, I wouldn't say my sister outed me in a way because she really didn't because um, I intentionally did it, and she knew I did it on purpose because my sister knows me. Mm. I have a private on my account, and or I have a private Instagram, and I, like... Oh, like a kind of like a... A um, Finsta. A Finsta. Yeah, okay, so I posted, like, um, a picture of me and the, this person I was talking to, and she kind of, and I added my sister on purpose to like bring it up to my mom. And she did, which I wanted her to do. And it kind of just went like that. And it wasn't like big or like, oh my God, like, oh my God, you're gay. Or not gay, but like, <laughs> bye. Or like, none of that. It was kind of Did they buy you like, a flag? Whatever. No. <laughs> I would not want that. I'm sorry. Why? Well, not like That's in a bad way. Fool. 
Are you like a real like gay person? You know how people be like, I'm lesbian, but then you're just drunk. Drunk. Like, like I was talking about that with Snow the Product. Like I'm sober right now. Like like shout out <laughs> me, and, like me and Snow the Product. We just did a podcast. She's like, there's like real gays and there's like not real gays, and they're like. When people are drunk, they become like, well, girls, you know, mostly girls. Like, yeah, there is a lot of girls that we can, when they're drunk, they like, we let's smack it. Yeah. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> to us guys, it's like, yeah, keep going. <laughs> but then to like real lesbian girls, they're like, oh, you're just lying. Like, it's yeah. Like, wow. No, I mean, I don't know, to be honest. I'm kind of just like, if I like you, I like you. Like, that's about it. Oh. I don't really like. What if he's a tree? A tree? Yeah. That's not a person. Hey. People are identifying us whatever they want now. <laughs> what is that? What is that word called? There's a word for it. No, no, I know that word, Angie. There's a word. I. I oh. There it is. I. I. They used to have the rallies at my school, mm-hmm. and some girl came out as pansexual. I didn't understand what that meant at the moment, I and I was like, "What is that?" I looked it up, and it's like you could love a car, and I was like, "Okay." Wait, like, really? Yes, like people, like you haven't seen like those weird, like those weird, and they're not weird, but like the people that fall in love with like their car, they're like they think they're in a relationship with their car. Yeah, I have seen that before. And yes, like, there was That's, one with like a balloon, I think too. Yes, like people are in love with like their wooden, like like it's crazy. Like, hey, people, these lives are crazy, dog. <laughs> Life's a trip, but everybody live your life. Everyone's different. Though. Um, what's next for you? What do you you already went through the hard shit. Mm-hmm. You, you would you consider it canceled? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I would say in the beginning I was considered canceled, but I wouldn't necessarily think of myself as canceled because I know, like, the truth within myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone behind closed doors knows the truth, too. But yeah. it's just, like, it wasn't really canceled. It was more hate than anything. Mm-hmm. But I didn't really... Yeah, they was tearing your ass up. Yeah. I'll were. read some of them. Some of them were funny. No, I admit it. They were funny, too. Like, Which I are, who's... Who, who did the most... Who was the funniest troll out of everybody? What do you I mean? have my answer. Like, about you. Who was, like, the funniest person? Oh, about, like, other influencers? Like, yes. getting into it? Yes. Oh, um... We should say it in three. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Lalo. Lalo. <laughs> Dog, he's him, bro. Lalo's, okay. He's, like, a troll, though. Like, Dog, he's fucking hilarious. I see him. He's hilarious without, like, meaning to be... Okay, yeah. me and my homies are, like... Like, we like, like, stupid, funny shit, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we're just, we're boys. Like, yeah. we think certain stupid shit is funny. Mm-hmm. We have a group chat. <laughs> and my homies are like, and I'm like, yeah, I got to interview. You know, we're best friends. So mm-hmm. we're like, yeah, fuck out. I'm, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to interview this. I always send them, like, people I'm going to interview. And they're like, and they just went on a field day. They were like, oh, like, they were just full. They sent passports in the group chat. Yeah. They was tearing your ass up. And I was like. And I was like, oh, I know why. And then I sat and I went back and I was like, uh-huh. dude, that fool's though has to be like unintentionally the funniest. Like, I understand if you have like certain mixed emotions about it, but I mm-hmm. think it's hilarious. No, he is. Like, I remember seeing him like even before I like really know, knew him. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, how is he like funny without even trying? Fool, <laughs> like, I'm like, first of all, how are you on TikTok? Like, you're consistent with it. Like, the consistency is fucking out of this world. Honestly, but, but he's grooved so much. Like, honestly, like, I remember watching his live or, like, seeing him on my oh, phone yeah, page oh, yeah, and he oh, was, yeah. like, in the, sh- like, like in the park? park. Homeless ass nigga. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. And now he's up. Hey, you got to no, like, yeah, give I'm credit where it's due. Him. Like, Bro, he that really was, came up. That fool's funny. No, was yeah. he, like, were you, were you watching some of them, like, I mean, there was one where he, like, made a whole TikTok, and I was like, damn, like, he's really, like, making it worse than it already is. But at the end of the day, it's just, like, everyone's going to do that. Like, it's the main topic on TikTok right now. You should... So I didn't really, like, mind. I was... I found it funny, too. Well, you should have been a passport for Halloween. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Are you planning on traveling more now? Traveling? After the whole situation? Like, just... Like, just using your passport? Like, you're just like, I'm going to just embrace it. I don't even it. have one. You got to go get one, bro. You just got to do it. And the pictures on your passport, post them. Because <laughs> everybody... Do you guys have passports? Fucking ugliest pictures of all time, right? You look so terrible. You can't, like... You can't do certain faces. They don't want you to smile. Do it. Embrace it, fool. Embrace it. You know how many DMs I get about how I don't support other Mexicans and all these things? I'm like, dude. Like, I just embrace it now. Yeah. Like, I do... Like, I'm, I'm doing stand-up now. Uh-huh. And one of, like, the biggest things you learn is, like... Embrace it all, fool. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't got a daddy. He got a being a crackhead like a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. I'm up there clowning on him. You got to just embrace it. Next Halloween, mom, I'll pitch in for the passport 
uh, thing. I'm going to get you a sign. A sign of what? Tesla's passport. <laughs> Imagine I hang it up in my room. Dude, yes, I have a rug guy. Do you, do you have a rug guy? A rug guy? No. Andres, can you bring my, 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 the rug in my room? I'm going to show you my rug. I'm going to make you one like this. I swear, I'm a mama. I'm going to make you one. I got you, girl. We going to break. actually? Bro, I got full. I know. I'm going to need the rug, the concert tickets now. Okay, the rug. Concert tickets, I know a guy. I'm, I'll send you the link, everything. Okay. Let me see. Andres, bring. Can you, can you just show the rug real quick, Andres? I'm going to make you a rug like this, but I have a passport. <laughs> you cool with that? Here, let me show the rug. I'm cool with it. Here, <laughs> not a fucking hold it the whole time. Is that supposed to be you? Yeah, they did a good job, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I got a fool. I got you, fool. Let me know what like type of passport you want. Like you want it with stamps, no stamps. Okay, I, I got you. Yeah, I think I think I think seeing you now, like, are you are you making TikToks about it? No, I don't. I didn't really want to like talk about it or like make TikToks or because I used to when the drama was happening but I stopped and like I archived the videos because I didn't really want to feed into it anymore yeah yeah I didn't want it to be like I didn't want to be known for like I know I am at the end of the day going to be known for it but I didn't want to like be for perceived the situation. as that yeah I didn't want to be perceived mm. for that situation no matter like yeah now you just got to make it a joke <laughs> that's how I was making it at first but I was just like yeah. I don't want that to be my identity at the Full, end of the day do it up start like fool your your fuck when's your birthday my, when's my birthday? Yeah. July 25th. A passport cake? <laughs> <laughs> like, you just got to do it up. I feel like that's so, like, I don't know, overdoing. Don't overdo it, but, like, do it up. Like, yeah, I'm going to embrace this motherfucker. <laughs> was your mom and them telling you, like, hey, laugh about it? Mm, uh, she was just, like, I think she was the one also telling me just let it be. Like, For not sure. do too much. You don't got to reply like, to everybody. She was saying laugh about it. Like, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It happened. It but. Happened. But just don't do too much. Yeah, I don't do too much. <laughs> Would you ever sit down and have a conversation with a shredded individual? Um, honestly, yes. Just to like end barriers, like if it was one on one, no one, no cameras, no nobody, I would really want a genuine conversation because we both like truly knew like in each our other's hearts, like we know what happened, and I'd probably just want like a one on one conversation and just talk about it. Yeah, because I think when, I think like, and, and you're going to learn as you, like, I'm not that much older. I'm, I feel like I'm giving you lessons, like I'm just fucking like <laughs> old ass fool with a cane, right? Like, yeah. but you're going to learn how to like, you don't got to like everybody, but you, you're respect them. No, yeah, that's how I am like right now with anybody. Like, even if there was people that fed into the drama that, or people that I had Like put it in or something, yeah. yeah. Even if I had fallouts with them, I still have so much respect and love for every, each one of them because they were a part of my lives and they all like meant something to me at one point in my life so i'm not gonna just like degrade them and just like it's just push like, them to the shadows or anything like it's that it's just more like do you i'm gonna do me yeah like even like recently i was at a party mm -hmm. and she was there and i honestly i minded my own business i just wanted to like be there for my friend's birthday party and it is what it is like it already happened i don't think it should be like see dragged. but that's good fool like how you like for at your age i'm tripping on everybody <laughs> like bitch you talk shit about me I'm like, hey, beat I'm sorry, go ahead. Or like, I would have sneaked up in the bathroom, like, hey, fool, get out right now. <laughs> but see, you already having that mentality to where you're like, fool, like. I feel like there's no point if I were to be like, oh, let's fight, let's like yeah. do all this right now. Like, there's really no point at the end of the day. Say we were to fight or do whatever, like, we're still. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're still not cool at the There was still day. no communication. Yeah, like, what do we get out of it and yeah. at the end of the day? I, feel, I love that for you, fool. Like, I, I I generally like the way you're thinking. Like, because I knew, like, because we had already talked about doing the interview before. Yeah. And then the thing happened, and then your mom hit me, and I was like, oh, yeah, like, nah, definitely. Hit me when y'all ready. Like, yeah. let me know when the time comes. And then I was bugging. I was like, nah, let's lock it in whenever you have the chance. Yeah. Because I would, I, like, it's called Cheese Me with Duno, but I'm not really sitting here. I want to figure out your whole fucking life. Like, no, yeah, we'll talk about you. it. But as somebody that's just like, I'm like a ghetto baby, fool. Like, life, there's so much more difficult things that happen in the world mm -hmm. that something could be talked about where you could be like, hey, you know what? I fucked up. And like I said, you're, the way mm -hmm. you're talking about it, embracing it, is already like a really good look mm -hmm. to where you're like, nah, like, if I fucked up, I fucked up. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Let's move on from that. Yeah, that's how I think and that's how I feel like every, everyone else should take it as mm -hmm. because, I mean, 
it's been like a month or two now and everyone has moved on. There's still people that obviously haven't. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. it is like, as you said, it is what it is and there's nothing that we could do about it because it happened and there's like, yeah, you know what's crazy? Up from it. Yeah, one of my little cousins asked me and I was like, I don't fucking know what's going on. She's like, you should watch. I was like, I'm not watching that shit. <laughs> like, uh, to me, the, the, no, it was everyone, like, everyone knew about it. Like, it was always on. <laughs> no, nah, my fault. I'm stretching over here. I'm like, <laughs> and like, everyone was like into it for some reason. Like, and I get it. We should make it a reality show. <laughs> Pitch it to Hulu. Imagine. What would we name it? What would you name it? What would I name it? I don't know. I'm not really creative with names like that. <clears throat> what would you name the beef? What would you name it, Josie? The beef. The drama. Like, like if Hulu was like, we want to give you guys a show. Were you going to see it be stupid as fuck? I was thinking. Tessa's world. Tessa's world. <laughs> oh, shit. Your mom's still salty a little bit. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, that's definitely dope. Um, mm -hmm. What are some of your, like, pet peeves when you're, like, dating somebody? Ooh, I don't know. Like, what do you mean, like, pet peeves, though? Like, like what is something that bugs you? Obviously not being claimed. <laughs> well, I mean, there's that, and then there's also just, like, I don't know. Like, you have to be able to handle me. Like, and my pet peeve is, like, you, like, say I do something, and then you're not, like, just, like, come here, like, let me fix it, da da da, da. Like, if you don't do that, I don't want you. Mm. Yeah. You got to take the initiative. Yeah, you have to take the initiative for me to, like, be like, oh, okay. Are you a hype person? Like, what do you mean? Because I was interviewing one of the homegirls. She's like, for a Latina, she's pretty tall. She's like 5'7". Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, do you think shorter person. guys? Ooh. No. I don't think... Well, it depends. I don't know. If they're taller than me, then I don't mind at all. Like, I really don't. Yeah, yeah. But what if they're like short kings? Like, shorter than me? How tall are you? I'm five foot. Oh, no. That's a midget food. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's why I'm saying, like, height doesn't really matter to me because... Because everybody's taller than you. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't really, like, matter, but I would love to have, like, someone tall. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. There's, like, this thing that went crazy on, on Instagram and YouTube and, like, where they were talking about the, f like, the worst 28 dates to go on. I don't know if you saw that, but they were saying, like, cheesecake was a bad date, like, any fast food restaurant was a bad date. What's, okay. like, uh, if a guy takes you there, you're not giving him a second date or a girl? Oh... Like, like, what's the first bad date to you? I don't know. I've never been like taken on a date to like know. You never been gone like out to eat with somebody you have like a thing with? No. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I never really like got to that like point in a relationship or like in a talking stage. But I feel like, I don't know. If there's effort made, then there's no such thing as a bad date. Mm, see, good ahead of. Because my homegirl was like, I'm not trying to eat tacos the first date. Honestly, I and would. And I was like, damn, bougie-ass bitch. You drive a Honda. You mad over here? <laughs> I don't think I would, like, really be like, oh, this is a bad date. Because, like, if we're making it special or, like, there's effort made that you tried, then I just, like, that's fine with me. What if he takes you to Carl's Jr. for your first date? Um, Carl's Jr.? Are we in the drive-thru or are we, like, sitting down eating and talking? Mm, that's a good question. Okay. Because if we're in the drive-thru, then maybe, yeah, that's a bad date. But if we're talking and, like, getting to know each other more, then that's all that matters, like, about a date. Okay. Because another one that came up there was, like, his house. Mm -hmm. And my homegirls were like, yeah, that's a, fast, that's a bad first date. His house? Yeah, like, going to his house. What are we doing at his house, though? Because if we're talking about, like, movies... Yeah, snacks, but, like, at, at this age, like, let's, like, like, I don't, like... My homegirls were like, it depends on the vibes he's giving you. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I never thought about that. I'm not going on a first date to my house. <laughs> I think that's weird. Like, I'm not going to cook for you. What the fuck are we going to eat here? Like, we going to order in? <laughs> what if, but what, I would find that cute, though. Like, imagine, like, door dashing food and, like, snacks and then just, like, watching movie, cuddling, spending time with each yeah, other. Yeah, but we're not white, Tessa. That's, like, white people shit. Like... That's a, that's a dream they're going to sell you on these movies where, like, like uh -huh. no. Like I'm, like, I'm trying to think of a bad first date, but usually as a guy, you got to do the date. Yeah. Because like, I feel like girls want, like, a fucking picnic by the beach. Like, I'm not giving you that. That's cute. I don't like sand, bitch. Really? Like, I'm just with anybody. Like, I'm telling the girl, like, you can win. Fool, that's extra out. No, that's like, not. I'm going to ask you to marry me type of shit. <laughs> no, it's not. If it's just, like, a date. <sighs> You're telling me I have to go to the beach. 
prepare this whole thing. I mean, if you really like someone, you would do it for them. I've really liked somebody before. Uh-huh. They got tacos in a 40. And some Nas, maybe. Is that what they... <laughs> Nas is crazy. Yeah, yeah I, ain't, I ain't getting like... Like Nas in the door, I'll probably take her to a nice restaurant. Uh, that's cute. But setting up a picnic, like... Because my homie did this, right? He set up a picnic. Mm -hmm. He, like, decorated it. He did the most. Went home, got ready, and then still went to go pick her up and then came back. That is fucking... And that means he cares Unnecessary her, gas wasted. Her. They broke up like a month later. Oh. Shit didn't work. I mean, it shows that he tried, though. And he gave the effort. Yeah. What's harder to date since you date both? Man or woman? Um... I honestly would say women because they're just like, I don't know, like they have like the same attitude as you and you're like able to know like w how they're acting because you know how you act. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the same thing. Like I feel like girls are so much harder because it's just like, I don't know, we're sensitive. And yeah. I got a lot of emotions involved. Yeah. And then one's going to be hard headed and the other one probably is going to be hard headed. So it's going to be like, but... In girl relationships, I feel like they're very more like, I don't know how to put it, like, you fall in love, like, way quicker because it's different. Oh, I don't know okay, if you okay. ever heard that before, but there's, like, multiple people that have talked about it, too, that girl relationships, like, it's a like harder... Like girl and girl. Yeah, girl okay, and girl. Okay, okay, it's okay. a harder breakup than it is um, boy and girl. I don't know if you ever heard of that. I haven't, but I, you know what I have heard? Like, when a girl breaks up with a guy, it hurts us more than when a like, it hurts more when a girl breaks up with a guy than when a guy breaks up with a girl. Uh -huh. I've definitely been heartbroken before. Uh -huh. I was like, I told the world I was going to end. It was over with. Mm -hmm. and, and it hurt. I feel like if a girl breaks up with a guy, it's more, like, meaningful. Yes. I do it when I'm bored. <laughs> they did it because they went through my phone. I totally understand that. That's crazy. Do you go through the phones? Um, No. No. I mean, I haven't been in, like, a real, real relationship. Oh, right. Depressed. I forgot. <laughs> I haven't been in, like, a real, real relationship to, like, know or, like, experience any of that. You know what? Don't get in one, fool. I feel like I I want to, like, experience it now, then experience it later when I'm older. I think when it comes to love, I think, I don't, I don't think there's, ah, uh, maybe. You, you, you maybe, oh, you don't go to school, but, like, you could probably find a high school sweetheart. <laughs> I mean, as of right Those now. Those are, like, the cutest couples, by the way. Yeah, they are. The high school sweetheart. Were you a high school sweetheart? Oh, that shit didn't work, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, like, when I see them, I'm like, oh, that's nice. You've been together since the ninth grade? I know. Also sounds fucking boring, though, huh? No. The same person for that long, dog? I feel like if I don't know, because you're right about that. Like, I don't know how people do it, but at the same time, I understand, because it's just like, damn, they could really handle each other because they really love each other that much. I'm scared of love, bro. No, it is a very, like, scary thing to experience, yeah. too. Because it's, like, a, one person has so much, like, impact on you. And, like, they have so much control. Because I remember when I was in that, like, when I was in, like, in love or whatever, um, if we were arguing, like, how she is, too, if they're arguing, like, it immediately, like, shuts you down. Like, you're in a bad mood. Like, it gets you, like, in a bad mood with your whole family. Like, I, I also, like, learn off of her. Like, I see how she is with us. If they yeah. are not doing good, like, she immediately, like, starts arguing with us. She, like, it's all over the place. But I, it's a very crazy thing. <laughs> That's crazy. I wonder, if my, are my sisters like that? Maybe. Fuck it. But they're just always mad. <laughs> my sisters just be mad at the world for no reason. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Are you a big astrology person? Um, I wouldn't say big astrology, astrology person, but I do, like, I have some belief in it. Like, like what? In the universe, like, that mm. everything happens for a reason. And I do believe in, like, the angel numbers and all of that. Oh, I don't know about none of that. That's like some demonic shit. No, well, I don't know about that. It's just because I always see, like, the little angel numbers everywhere. Like, if I see, like, a 111 on the dashboard. Oh, or, like, that's yeah. what you mean. Like, okay, okay, okay. What do like, you the think lucky I number. I don't know. The angel numbers sounded fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm like, 666. Six, no, six, like, six. I'm like, it'll be a little. The horizon was kicking That's not an angel in. number, no? I don't, I, fool, I don't know. <laughs> I just know my sign, Pisces. That's, that's all I know. Oh, I love Pisces. She, that, fool, I'm cool. Yeah. But when I explained this to people, right, like, I kicked up with a girl once, and she was like, what's your sign? And I lied at first. I was like, I, was, I think I was like, I'm a Taurus. 
And she's like, oh, my God, you guys are, like, the fucking best. Like, like oh, no wonder I, like, love hanging out with y'all. I was like, I'm really a Pisces, though. And then she, like, switched up. I'm like, bitch, I'm still the same person. I just lied about this. No, the thing about me, though, I really believe in, like, astrology signs only for the fact, like, my dad was a Sagittarius and my sister is a Sagittarius and my mom's a Sagittarius. Like, oh, they, shit. Yeah, they all, like, have, like, little bits of each other, like, I don't know how to really like say. What's it. like the little bit? Like, like what are they? What is? What is something they similar? They always think they're right when they're wrong. Like they always. They're stubborn. Try to, yeah, they try to get their point across. And matter of fact, I had my friend that um, the drama went down. She was a Sagittarius too. Oh. And she, um, when we were friends, though, my mom got along with her um very well, and she was the one that was like, "Oh, you should be friends with her. Like, she seems very sweet." Kind. So it's your mom's fault. No, <laughs> I wouldn't. Say it's her fault because I mean everything no, happens like, for a reason. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We were very good friends. Like loved her to um, at one point, but like she kind of represented like some of my family in a way. The like, sag, the sag. In yeah, them. the sag. Like I don't know how it like I don't know how it works, but it just works. Cause yeah, maybe stop being friends with sag <laughs> and like cut your family off, move to Washington. Oh, uh, you like that one? You like that one? That was good. Uh. <laughs> I thought I, I thought you were gonna catch it at first. No, I caught it. Yeah, no, yeah, do it up, fool. Yeah, can you guess my sign? Um, okay. Oh, July, but my mom's July six, and she's a Cancer. Are you a Cancer as well? Mm -mm. What's after July? What's the month of July? Um, August. You're a Leo. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm trying to see who's a Leo. Mm. Are you like, like manly? Like not manly, but like, <laughs> are you like fucking like, like fuck you? Like you're just mad at the world type shit? No, I wouldn't say I am, but like, I, there's times where I am, but there's also times where I'm not. So what do they say about Leos? I don't know what they say about Leos, honestly. But there's is like a lot of people that have said that Leos are like very. I don't know. Yeah, because when they talk about Pisces, they always, like, compliment us, right? Like, you guys are lovers. You guys are this, like, creative. But then they always add, like, yeah, but you're a piece of shit. Like, really? Like, if you're, you, like, if you have to, you'll lie to me. Like, 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 if you really love me, you love me. But if you hate me, then you'll really hate me. Like, they just always add the negative shit in the end. Yeah, that's how it is with them, Sags. Like, if you, once you cut someone off for them, like, even if, it, like, they're still on talking terms, but once they cut you off in their head, you're cut off. Like, they're not going to talk to you anymore or, like, have any relation with you, like, at all. Like, I don't know how that works. That's them, scary. It works. Yeah. It is very scary, honestly, because, like, there's times where I'm all like, why don't you just forgive them or da 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 like, talk and it out. Like, and they're like, fuck no. Yeah, and they're like, no. We're, that's over and done with. Like, that's it. I'm also a good, like, energy reader. Really? Yeah, like, I know when somebody's fake. Mm-hmm. I know when somebody's like, nah. and you know what? I've if in the in like our world, like the influence world, I've caught that a lot. No, I catch that a lot. I'm too. not. I'm not like at the event y'all are at. I'm like, <laughs> like I I love my homies that grew up with. I love being at the block. That's all I'm doing. Like yeah. Like like I'm kicking the fool. Like I'll do that when when I have to. And there's genuine people mm -hmm. all around. But do I really want to be at these places? Nah, I prefer being at the block. No, I you know what I'm saying. I'm just. I'm very like. My circle, or like my best friends, for are like we we we've been we've been thugging together for and and it's and it's a mixture of boys and girls. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm very big on who's around me and my mm -hmm. energy, fool. So like, like, do I really want to hang out with people I just met? Like, like, no, like yeah. cause then I'm not me. That's like, like a big thing that every influencer talks about, though. Like, if you go to like an event, there is like influencers that you would see like on your for you page or just like you would see in general. And they would be like, they're not, like, who you expect. Like, really. They really aren't. I feel like no matter what, even if you see one person at an event, like, you still won't get to know how they actually are until you know the person more and more and more and more and hang out with them constantly. Because I figured out, like, throughout, like, my 15 years of living, you can meet someone on a bad day and one person will say that they had a bad experience and then another person will say that they had a good experience yeah. with them. So you'll never know how a person actually is. Until you really get to know them. Yeah, like I'm like a dick, fool. Like, <laughs> like I'm just. I mean, a, at least you could admit it. Though. Yeah, like no, but I'm not, I'm a dick. Like I just talk shit. Like that's just how. I'm, and like I'm ghetto, fool. <laughs> I think I'm like I, I'm. Like, 
fucking ghettos. Fool, I'm ghetto, dog. So like, I don't, one, I also don't think I get invited. I do, I do, I do. You know what? I do get invited. I just don't <laughs> go. I just, I just, I just, I'm like, like, I'm ghetto, fool. Like, I want to. You wouldn't want to be like around it or what? Like, like I want to be with my homies and like, I don't like, I don't do drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't do Nas. Mm -hmm. I get drunk as fuck. And when I'm super drunk, I maybe smoke a cigarette or two to sober me up. I don't hit the nicotine. I don't hit the pen. But my homies, they love that shit, fool. My homies, we, we thugging, fool. We in, a, we in spots we grow, kicking it at. All our cars, everybody's bumping. Everybody got a bottle. And that's, that's my fun. And don't get me wrong. These events are amazing. Like, yeah. Like the first time I that event, I was supposed to be there. But I thought I got the day wrong. I thought I was gonna, when I was in London, I was supposed to go. I didn't end up going. But shout out them. I've worked with JOP before. Like, mm -hmm. amazing person. Like, there's a lot of people that are, like, real friends. Like, me and mm -hmm. these fools, like, I generally, like, know them on a personal level too where like like I was just with Brian today you know like yeah. but a lot of the other shit I'm just like I don't I, I, I just I just I don't like being judged I just prefer not being there yeah and I'm just like I'm gonna go thug I'll see y'all I'll, I'll, I'll go if it's a real genuine thing yeah but shout out to everybody doing their thing cause I feel like especially now seeing all these events come together and stuff like bro there's a lot of Latino creators that are making shit move like mm -hmm. I be seeing y'all at the um at the at the like, uh, like release of music events and shit like that. Oh yeah. Like with the records and shit. Mm -hmm. Like those are dope, fool. Like, you guys are there. People don't know, but there's a reason you guys get invited. You guys post their shit. They get more listens. They get more. So it's like another Latino helping another Latina or yeah. Latino vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. But yeah, I'm ghetto, fool. I'm <laughs> out of there. I right, like. Nice to meet you. Love you to death. Call me when you need me. I got you. This is my number. Bada bing, bada boom. Mm -hmm. But I'm gone. I'm gonna go kick it and get litty. But also that's bad, fool. Cause my homies is gay. We begin to shit. I that mean, we shouldn't as be as getting long into. As you're having fun. That's all that matters. Cause I, I, cause you hang out with a lot of just people that aren't influencers, huh? Um, yeah. Like your group. I think mm -hmm. I've seen your story before. Mm -hmm. You get like, like doing the, the parties or shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I love hanging out with them because I feel like I recently met them like in the beginning or like the end of August on my first trip to Arizona. And I feel like that's the most, like, funnest I've ever had. Arizona's late, huh? Yes. Arizona's late. And it's only, like, fun when you have, like, your friends. <laughs> Why friend did you laugh about this? Bro, that shit is ghetto, dog. It is. I remember going to um, Rancho, and um, there was a bunch of fights, and then there was, like, one person threatening to, like, pull out their gun, so we were like, oh, let's go. But, um... Bro, that shit is so much fun. You're 15. I, I forget this, but, fool, when I host a club in Arizona, you guys gotta come, dog. It is, like... You guys gone? No. Food. The energy is is vibe. Food. It's, it's a whole different world, dog. Like mm -hmm. we in there bullshitting. Like it's going up. Like <laughs> food is, cause we're from California, so we are like cool to them a mm -hmm. little bit. I'm not saying they don't have cool motherfuckers. Cause shout out Luciano and the whole sold out events team. Them fools is doing that up. They do their shit, you know. But mm -hmm. like, for when you go up there, it's a vibe. It's like a whole different like. I, I was literally just saying yesterday that I missed Arizona because it's a very fun experience to do with your friends and everything. But my friend group, like, I literally love them so much because they got me out. Like, I've been going to, like, privadas or amanecidas. Well, that's the same thing. Amanecidas and privadas. You should be on amanecidas. <laughs> so fucking 6 a.m. Bandai. No, hey, it is. Like, it you know what? at 2 a.m. I, I can't start. I can't. I can't. I don't last. I'm there no, for okay. an hour and I'm like, I'm like, take me home. No, literally, but... I only go to Amanecidas um, until, like, or if I have an event. And, mm, oh, yeah, and after, then I go after. To, I go to Amanecidas yeah. after. But it's, they really, like, brought me out and, like, it's, uh, they're just really They fun. helped with the mental shit. Yeah, they really did. Like, because yeah. I was going through a lot of stuff because um, this is when my mom and dad started, like, getting into divorce or whatever. It's just a lot and, of, like, personal shit. And then shit. I literally met them at the same time, like, at a perfect time. And I kind of just, like, always been out with them. Or even if I'm out with my friends, sometimes my mom would just, like, come to, like, monitor where I'm at or Amazing. Like, see That's what the, I'm yeah. doing. Because people thinking that my mom just comes to hang out with me or whatever, but she literally... That's lit. No, she doesn't do that, though. The thing is, she kills my vibe. She literally stands there and watches what I'm doing, makes sure I'm not doing... Well, then stay your ass bad. home. If you don't want to see it, you don't want her there. <laughs> No, but that's what she does, and it's just like, ugh, whatever. But I mean, at the same time, but she's also, there food, to you're care like blessed. You have like a cool mom, dick. Like, yeah. Like if my mom was with me at the functions while the homies are selling out and getting shot up, they're like, that's not cool. You know, what I'm saying? like, like yeah. my mom would have been like, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. But f 
that's what she does. That's literally what but she does. But that's good, though. But my friends don't do any of that. All they do is, like, just drink. Yeah. That's, that's all they do. friends are young. If somebody got to nose it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, which is a good thing, which mm -hmm. is full, because I'm telling you, I've been thinking about the shit I was doing at 15, and right now that you're telling me, like, how you're, like, careful, I'm like, dog, what the fuck was I doing sleeping at a park? You slept at a park? Yeah, I was lotted out. And that's a lot of thing that people think, just because I'm, like, a little... I'm a 15-year-old influencer that I have to do the right doings, and I have to, like, I'm young. You got to, like, not do all this stuff. But there's other people my age doing 10 times worse, and I know that for a fact. And it's yes. just because it's me, it's wrong. Look, fool, you're 15, so you're going to, again, you're going to fuck up. Mm -hmm. Just don't do drugs. No, I do not. Okay? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not influencing the kidding drug thing, but <laughs> if you do do it, fool, be careful. Mm-hmm. Be around. Always have two or three girls around you. Men are fucking weird. Yes. I have sisters, fool. So my mom and Betty and this, like, like I have my homegirls could sleep next to me. We've blacked out together. And no, we've that's been, literally how it is and with my I'm friend group. Like, if my home, like, my homegirls black out. Uh -huh. I've had my homegirls black out, and, and they go to sleep in my mom's room. Like, I'll throw them in my mom's room, like, mom. Or, like, <laughs> that's even, funny, even that's like, how it is with my friend group. Even, literally. like, my exes. One of them was super blacked out, and I was like, "Mama!" Like she threw up on herself. I was like, "Mom, you shower her." You know, it's just, it's just like uh -huh. be around people. You and and like, I, and you know, you do hear like horror stories about like. And shout out to any girl that's ever been through that, and hope hopefully you get better if you're watching this or if you support or you support me, Tessa. Hopefully you never have to go through that again. But mm -hmm. fool, just as a girl, as a as a guy that has sisters, fool, be careful. Mm -hmm. Have a fucking big ass pepper spray on you. A guy's biggest pain is his fucking nuts in his eyes. So if you got to stab somebody, put them big ass nails in his eyes. He's going to go blind. <laughs> and yeah, have your security or your mom. Yes. And be careful. <laughs> and don't let nobody. If one of your homies is drinking and driving, fuck him. Yeah. Call an Uber. TikTok pays you very well. So for, yeah, don't do it up, fool. Like, because I like, I know a lot of people that died of a gang of stupid shit, fool. Yes. And, I've, and now that I like, I'm like blessed with my life, I'll be thinking about it like, damn, like what the fuck were we doing? Or like, like you know what I'm saying? So you just got to yeah. be careful. Just be careful. But what's like your, you're like on your corrido phase right now? <laughs> I wouldn't, I mean, yeah. You know how to dance though? Yeah. Okay, you're I just would. not there, like, you're not a wall, uh, what's it called? A, a, a wallflower? The wallflower? Is it a wallflower, Angie? Wallflower. <laughs> Don't be that person. <laughs> so you're just like dancing, you're doing it up, living life. Yeah, basically. I'm just like. It's because my my friend group is the one that kind of like also introduced me to it. Oh, so lit. I've also been very in touch with my culture more, and that's why when oh shit, you get all deep and shit <laughs> for your for you could we could tell <laughs> you are Latina. <laughs> no, yeah, but I don't know why there's a lot of people on the internet that's all like, oh, she wants to be Mexican so bad, but I'm full Mexican, and it's just like them ass bitch, we Mexican. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? She can, I don't get when there's a say big that, ass nopal like, on your face if you don't know. It's just right there, fool. You, your mom, and your sister. No, your sister looks a little Asian. <laughs> I do. Your I mama, don't. though, that right there is an immigrant. <laughs> My homie Angie, immigrant. Andres, immigrant. Me, immigrant. We're immigrant out, fool. It is what it is. We mm -hmm. embrace our culture. Yeah. Nah, but they're fun, fool. I love getting grupos and blacking yes. out. Yes. Oh, I don't know about the blacking out. Oh, I be part. fool. <laughs> For my, I'm going to invite you guys to my birthday next year. Um, I want to get a ranch, <gasps> just a bunch of tables, mm -hmm. no food. No food. Just Lay's, hot Cheetos, and like snacks. And, oh, you want everyone to black up with no And just food. alcohol everywhere. Okay, have you seen the, the music video for um, El Muchacho Alegre with Fuerza Regida? I think so. Have you seen it? When they're just at the ranch with, and it's just a fucking table full of beer and alcohol. That's how I want my oh, birthday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And just the banda playing. <laughs> we can't hear each other. Don't talk to me. If we're going to dance, dance. If you have to do perico, go to the bathroom. It is what it is. <laughs> but we're going to just fucking live it up. Uh -huh. And we're gonna just live life. That's what I want my birthday to be. Cause fool, I'm too young. Mm -hmm. I want to black out, throw up on myself. Mm -hmm. I want to have a kid by like 25. I'm 23. You're 23. I turn 24 next year. Oh my god, you are young. I want to have a kid by two. You thought how old you think I was? No, nothing. Damn, I gotta get my life together. See, <laughs> I gotta start doing more faces or something. You know what, fool? I was stressed at a very young age. Mm -hmm. I want to get the Botox shit from my forehead. Really? Yeah, fool. Cause I feel like I have wrinkles. I'm like 23, dude. No, you don't. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm wearing a hat. I'm not, fool, I got my eyebrows done. Shout out to the poet. <laughs> you know, people judge me for that. What? Yeah, you know, fools I feel be, like when a guy has very good hygiene, it's so attractive. Fools be like macho out. Like, I'm wearing Victoria's Secret lotion if I have to. <laughs> I love that. 
fellas, if if you're a guy, if you're watching this, girls like if you smell like them a yes, little bit. Yes, I love like, when oh, guys. Oh, you know my so favorite good. lotion? Yeah. Now let's go on a date. Carl's Jr., Carl's Jr., Carl's Jr. A privada. <laughs> Amanecida. That's not, I wonder who came up with that. Let's throw a party at fucking 2 a.m. <laughs> till the fucking sun comes up. Huh? What kind of tweaker shit is that? It's so like, I remember my first time. Well, not my first time. It was like. Were you like, tired? You were like, oh, I'm ready to go to sleep. Oh my God. I was, I wasn't that tired. I was at Manasidas and it was like, we left at like, we got home at 7 a.m. But we left at like 5 and I was just like, this is crazy. How what's, am I up right now? What's your guys' go to meal after that Manasida? After Manasida, we got Jack in a Box. Mm, you gotta do Denny's next time. <laughs> Just dine in or just no no dine in. in. It's different. Really? Yes, because we should go to Amanda this one time. Ah, oh, it's cause fool. You know what? People get shot there, Dick. I don't want to get shot. Oh my god! Did you hear recently that there was one? N n I don't go to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like there was one. There's, you know what? A lot of my favorite grupos, like um, I wish I wanted. I really wanted to go to one where Group Achesian was gonna be there. Uh -huh. Love Group Achesian. One of my favorite like singers. Uh -huh. Um, love Los Desvelados and my boys. F f I think they were the ones performing and where it got shut up. It, it gets crazy everywhere. But the times that I went, it was kind of like low key and it was like good vibes. Where the, what what city is it in? I don't know. I kind of just get the address and go. Live <laughs> <laughs> life, fool. I'm not encouraging that, but do you? Just be careful, like I said. No, Damn, your fucking nail is sharp, <laughs> dog. What the fuck? What's your nail process? You sit there for how many hours? Um, it depends what I'm doing. Cause and like what nail tech is doing my nails. Oh yeah, I'm also you're a cheater. No, <laughs> okay, I'm not a cheater. No. Mm. One guy has been cutting my hair for the last two years. Okay, I would. Okay, I had three nail techs. Oh shit. <laughs> not okay. like that. One is my sister's nail tech, and my other one was my nail tech. And then I recently got my nails done by another girl, but she. So who's the best? <laughs> no, I'm just. I don't so, want to put you in that position. No, they all do lovely nails. Like, I literally love how they all do my nails. But this set, I don't know. It probably took, like, two hours. Because it was, like, a fail. One time, my stupid ass thought that shit was, like, glue, boom, right? That's what I thought, fool. <laughs> no. So I was dating this girl. And shout out her love of my life. We're going to go. Fool, I sat there for fucking, oh, dog, the the first hour is cool. I could watch enough YouTube videos to... Uh -huh. I have real bad ADHD. Like, I don't know if you know this, but I'm, like, stretching. I'm, like, tapping. Like, yeah. I'm, I have issues, fool. Like, <laughs> like me no, sitting good. here, like, yeah, like, I'm, like, ah, uh, like... Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, it's just, like... The second hour, I was, like, okay. And the, and I'm big, fool. The girl had a little-ass chair, fool. No mama's way. The third hour, I was, like, hey, fool, we got to go, fool. Like, and then she was, like, oh, it's a coffin now. It takes a little... Or whatever the... Whatever bullshit y'all got, there's a difference, right? Yeah. Coffin. What is what is what's the other one? Um, there's, I don't. There's like square, and then there's like almond. Whatever the fuck she was fucked. But I'm like, what's up with this bitch? She sucks at her job. Like, <laughs> why the fuck are we four hours in this I mother? Mean, the longer they take though, is like the less that they like last. Or like the I don't know how to like put it, but if the they less they take, the the less they last. Yeah. If they take an hour, they're going to only last, like... If they take their time, that means that they're really, like, trying to, like, do a good job, mm. basically. Yeah, but you're, like, popping food. They got to take their time. Like, when I do shit with foods, new foods, they, like, want to do the most. I'm like, food, just fucking cut the hair. Like, when my homie can't cut my hair, uh -huh. I ask him, like, hey, if I'm going to cut my hair, well, I don't know fucking ask him. I'm not a bitch, but, like, hey, fool, you're busy. I need a haircut. I just... Uh -huh. Our life our life fast, fool. We could get a fucking movie roll tomorrow, mm -hmm. and I need a haircut, like, right now. Mm -hmm. Fools be like doing the most. I'd be like, bro, just cut the fucking hair. So I can only imagine what you guys, you know, you guys obviously post your nails and mm -hmm. shit. So they're like, we got to do a great job. You know what? I would always like, I would get my nails done like every week. And then there would be a lot of people that would be like, how are you getting your nails done? That's not healthy, right? No, well, it's not like getting my nails done like over. It would just be like a new design. Like I would do a whole fill again the next oh, week. Oh, I don't know. If you're Even talking rocket science to me though. right now. What's, what's the new fill? What does that mean? Okay, so you know how, like, by the end of your nail, like, it kind of grows out? The, what, what's that called? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So you would fill that in again? Yeah, we would fill, like, the space that grew. Damn, I need a manicure. <laughs> Just thought about that right now. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that fool your life it seems hard way. <laughs> I, I, if, I feel like you should cut your hair. No. Dora style. What makes you say that? You 
just gotta like foot just do it. Door style. Door style. I, I went through that. I went through that. Already. Rebel against life. Oh. <laughs> You're giving me like twenty. Or Tessa. you should get tatted. <laughs> now don't ever get tatted on your face. I would not do that. You just got tatted. Are we not supposed to say it? Okay, let's just <laughs> cut. Okay, I. Okay, wait. <laughs> Well, I'm already here, but we'll, we'll cut this. But you got it right here. I seen it on your story. Yeah. Did it hurt? No. There was like some spots where it did hurt, but. What'd you get? Uh, two butterflies. Uh, uh-huh. yeah. you're depressed. <laughs> no, I was actually talking about this with my two friends the other day, and I was just like, um, I want them like, because you know how butterflies are kind of like set free or whatever. I kind of would want it to like represent me. Like, um, oh, I'm yeah, free. Oh, like, I'm on myself. Oh, you're free now? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I'm myself. Okay, yeah. Like, I'm just, like, on my own, like, free, like, you know? Okay, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, I got a bunch of stupid shit, and then I just got to clean it up with a bunch of meaningful shit. <laughs> but, yeah. I yeah, the shout out you. <laughs> 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 I didn't know. Mommy should have told me we should have talked about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dad. you're good. Oh, yeah. so, oh, this, oh, this. Uh, yeah, okay, my dad well, was going to take me out. You yad it up now. Now you got to go crazy. Fuck it. Do it up. No, I'm done. I'm done. Like I <laughs> get a face tat. Like no. Get get your mom's name right here. <laughs> Fool, that no, show looks sick. My dad did take me to this one though. He took me. Did that one hurt? Uh no. Fingers tats hurt, bro. Really? Once you do the stomach, it's over it. with. I numbed my finger because I was so scared. You numbed it? Yeah. But I didn't numb this one because I was just like, you know what? Like, I want to go through the pain. I'm yeah, I, I'm a, <laughs> No. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just get it over and done with. I'm going to go through the pain. And then, yeah. I, got I love it. that for hurt. you. Tessa, you, you, you just like, you're full of life. We'll just keep living it. Like I said, just be careful. I will. What's course. like next for you, though? Like, like, what are we going to, are like, are you coming up with your own makeup line? No, your I own know. like rock really, um, CD, like I don't really have a plan, but I'm honestly I do plan on like. I feel like your mom thinks you have a plan. Oh, they have their clothing plan. <laughs> honestly, I don't okay. even pay attention. I just okay. I'm here. Well, let me, I work I, here. Tessa, I got you. I'm on your team. Fuck them right now. <laughs> the well, what? For how do I say your guys' last names? Ortega. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know why I thought it was a different whole last name. <laughs> okay, the Ortega. Are co- is that your last name? That's a daddy's last name. Oh, you're still married. No. Oh, okay, well, let's just shout out the lawyers. <laughs> the Ortegas, Josie, Tess, and their mom are coming out with a merch line. Yes. Yes, Tess, a very bad marketer. We're going to teach you that. Okay, it's because I'm kind of just like here, and what is, I work here. What is the merch called, Tessa? Oh, my <laughs> God. Josie, what is the merch know. called? Oh, you have a name for it? It's more my mom and my brother. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you, well, motherfucker, whatever pays no, the bills, okay. they're going to pay your bills, too. Yeah. Okay, what is their merch called? You're fucking terrible, bro. <laughs> I am. What is the I'm merch called? I'm this. Saint Saint, say it again. Saint Hefe. Saint Hefe. Shout out Saint Hefe. <laughs> I need some merch. I'll send you my size. <laughs> but fool, yes, fool, you got to promote shit, fool. No, yeah, I get that, but I kind of just want to... <laughs> I <promote> get that. <laughs> <laughs> she just, just worked. She I'm got a full go. You guys better get home and start folding them shirts. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Okay, so they have the merch coming out, mm-hmm. and then they have other merch coming out, yeah. and then you're just there. Yeah, I'm kind of just here. Okay, nice. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Are you thinking about ever doing your own makeup brand? Oh, I feel like I would, but at the same time, I feel like it's already been used so many times. Like, there's a bunch of other people that have like came out with their own makeup line, and I don't. I just don't want to be like. You know, like repetitive. Yeah, I wouldn't want to like do the same thing over and over and over, like how everyone. So, what is something you do want to try that you feel like nobody's done, or maybe a little bit of people have done? I don't know, cause when it comes to that, I have like no creative like mindset for that. You do have creative mindset. I just like I would have to like sit in my room and like lock myself in there and think to 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 be able to do. The way your depression has been hitting, you shouldn't be locking yourself in. Oh my god! We should make a merch line for you called Amanecidas. No, but there is one thing I really want to do, and it's been, like, for the longest time. Even my mom knows. Like, I've been wanting to do acting for, like, the longest time ever. I know a couple of people. You do? Shout out Jimmy Emile. I, I, we just did the Enes de Patrone movies. Amazing movie. That shit was sick. You know what you got to do, fool? Hmm. 
Is the union still stri- on strike, Andres? No, they're done, huh? You sure? Fool, if you become a child actor, fool, you're rich, dog. <laughs> you're rich. I think do headshots. Mm-hmm. You probably got to do like the... Go audition for the commercial shits. They have them all over. But I feel like I would be so like nervous. I don't know why. And that's the thing with acting. You can't be nervous or you can't like think... You know what? It's going to be weird at first. When I first had to like really get into a certain character in front of people, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, what do they judge me? But then I keep forgetting that everybody's there for the, for the same, same job. Uh-huh. Try. You know what? Maybe try slowly diff- like different things like... Try to do like skits at home. Mm-hmm. I would then, never post those though. No, post them. You get feedback, and then people craft that, and like people like would book me to do funny shit because uh-huh. of my skits, and then you grab that, and then you elevate from like, like doing certain things to then acting, and then you keep going on and on and on. Mm-hmm. Try it, fool. Fool, you have the whole world to make mistakes, fool. Mm-hmm. If it does, if acting doesn't work out, who knows? You might be a very nice singer. Can you sing me your favorite song? Um, from your ex? My, my, my ex. <laughs> I don't really have a favorite song from her. No? Like, All of them? No. Do you cry to her shit? No. I feel like listening to her music isn't really like... It's not really like... I don't know. I feel like there was one time, though, where um, I was on my For You page, and there was a live, and someone was on the phone with her, and I heard, like, it made my heart drop because that was the first time I've heard her conversate. Like, I could hear her music, but, like, actually hearing her, like, have a conversation is, like, gave flashbacks. Which song's about you that you know about? One of them has to be about you, right? I don't think so. Dude, you guys look fucking alike. It's creepy as shit. Stop chewing gum together at the same time. <laughs> you don't know what song's about you? I don't think there's any. Should we? What? Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa, you have a type. Your, your families like talent- are, they're I like, dicks. For- yeah, I like talented people. <laughs> Who's the other singer? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know that. Thank you, mom. <laughs> this is going to be the clip. Can I, can I have, okay, can you type in the, the artist? I won't say it. Yeah, I'll say it. He won't say it. Okay. I won't say it, I won't say it. Because your sister told me a gang of wild shit. You know how much editing you have to do? Is it like, is, am I going to like him? I'm going to like him, huh? Okay. Her brother, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why was that so fucking fast? <laughs> and then there's another one. <laughs> nice. Okay. Very successful. You keep locking in the back, girl. <laughs> But that one is no more. Oh, let me see. Ah, I don't really give a fuck about that one. <laughs> that one is cool. The other one is going to be a million times more successful. There you go. Which one do you prefer? Ah, okay, let me see. Hmm. That fool has one song, dick. No. The rest of them are like for like people your age. But you want somebody that's gonna sell out arenas or that's gonna sell out a club. <laughs> okay, I'll yeah, the the This was the other one, right? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Do you girl. <laughs> Live it up. I just had a homegirl on here. I just had my homegirl on here. Shout out Avocado Thotty. And this is who she slept with. Let me show you. I'm not encouraging that. I'm just saying, like, this is how cheese me with Duno. Andres, we get full. You know how much shit I have had to edit? And I'll show you guys right now, too. <laughs> right? I'm like, <laughs> uh, would it catch? Oh, no. Booming. Yeah, but I, I've i worked at, like, the biggest platforms in hip-hop mm-hmm. at a very young age, so I know, like, so much about the industry that it's, like, uh, that's why the influencer shit is, like, mm-hmm. that's cool, but, like, shit's deeper than this, homie. Mm-hmm. Like, we had the Mexican OT on this, but we booming over here, you heard? But, fool, that was crazy, though, Holla, when I showed you guys? Yeah. That's that's bad bunny status right there. <laughs> I told the homegirl, I was like, ooh, do it up. <laughs> Like there's just like this person that slid in my DMs, and I'm like, oh, if I, if if the way she coming at me, 
I'm gonna get her pregnant. Cause I'm just trying to have my I'm, I want You're I, I want to my, lock her in, I'm lock trying her to have in. my child do it up. Cause you know, bitches like funny fools. Yes. I'm not like doing too much fool. I'm I wake up, put sweats on a hoodie, bada bing, bada boom. Mm-hmm. I'll get ready if I have to. But if not, if I'm in Monday through Friday for I'm in sweats, a hat, <laughs> and not doing shit. But yeah, dude, that, the second one is crazy. Not the, not the. <laughs> not Wakanda. <laughs> no, I meant like the 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 the, the, the sign. But the 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 other one, movie. <laughs> Okay, I, which I, one? It's because like I like people for their like personality. When I get to know get them, the fuck out of okay. here. No, because I knew the other one more. Like I got to know him, so I was just like. For you fall in love very easily. Yeah. Oh, so you're okay. not talking to either of them huh? anymore? Oh uh, no, we're just cool, like mutual. Like they're just. There. So you're not I'm talking. Mutual. Is it? Are you in love with either any no, of them? No, 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 no. I'm just mutual. The other one still has your heart. Ooh, oh my god, no. <laughs> that one is just like. Okay, I learned from it, and then... You moved on now? Yeah, I moved on now. What if she sends you flowers and a bouquet and a car service, and she wants you to get back with you? I wouldn't. I feel like right now... Stop the cap! <laughs> I feel like right now it would be way better if we were literally just, like, friends. Mm. Like, I feel like things would have been better if we were only friends to begin with, because she's a very, like... She's a very humble person, and she's a very, like, funny person. Like, yeah, I, I feel like anybody would get along with her. Mm. But I feel like what messed my image up for her, like, for me, like, how I see her as is the relationship stuff. So yeah. that kind of ruined it for me. But as a friend-wise, she would have been perfect. Who's the best artist out of all three of them? If, I, if we had a record label, let's say me and you, Tessa, mm-hmm. I don't know about any of these artists, but you're pitching me one. We have $3 million. To mm-hmm. sign one, which one are we signing? Mm-hmm. How how am I gonna tell you? How many what? How am I gonna tell you? Uh, one, two, and three. Who's one? So let one be your ex. Uh huh. Two be the first name you showed me, and three be the okay. third name you showed me. Okay. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Great investor. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm I'm with you, mom. If if we're thinking, are we thinking the same thing? Oh, you guys didn't get invited from... Oh, I'm oh, sorry to hear that, brother. Wait, from what? I got... Oh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> we'll cut it out. Don't worry about it. I don't, I don't think even think the mic picked it up. But yes, yes. Number two, we're signing the deal. Uh-huh. I'm with it. Me too. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, for you got to, like, lock in your life. <laughs> but I'm I encouraging like- you to just, like, yeah, lock it in. No, the deal. it's because, like, I wouldn't want people to, like, I don't know, because I wouldn't want to just, like, be with someone just for, like, what they do or any of that, because mm. I feel like I'd be depressed. Like, 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 like you got to stay at home? That food's booming, though. I wouldn't You got to have super no like, imagine, insecurities. Imagine he has, like, no personality and, like, he's just there. But does he? How good is your Spanish? How good is my Spanish? Yeah. Oh, I hate speaking Spanish. Like, I understand. How do you just communicate? Do you guys, like... Hola, no, como estas? No, like, I speak Spanish, but I hate the way I sound. Like You sound like a no sabo. Yeah. Mm. Learn but Spanish, fool, so you can elevate in life when you go to no, the yeah. homeland. 100%. But Your mom's funny. <laughs> I feel like also with my friend group and, like, um, other people I surround myself with, I'm speaking Spanish and, like, because I understand I just hate the way, like, I wouldn't know how to put the words together because mm. I didn't grow up speaking Spanish. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you're, like, second generation. Yeah. Mom, you're first generation, right? Your parents, your, so your parents were raised here too. Oh, so you're, you're second generation. You're third. Mm-hmm. Terrible. Stop. We don't claim you guys or your mom. <laughs> oh, they're from Texas. I used to be Mexican. Yeah. Oh, we definitely don't claim your mom. You know what? <laughs> you aren't Mexican. I'm with the fans now. <laughs> but my dad was from. Um, your dad's, their dad's first generation. Yes, first like generation. Like his parents, no English. Yes. That's crazy. Mom, that is very... Mom, that is not nice, mom. My friends also have green cards. No, I'm first generation. Uh-huh. My mom comes in here, she won't know what we're saying. I, th- I think it's... Hola, mira, como estas? You're going to be like, hola. <laughs> hola. 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 Nice. You know what? You should be a voice actor. A voice actor? Yes. Like, really? for, like, like think about, like, the movie, like, Coco or, like, Trolls. No, yeah, I know what you mean, but, like... 
Great <laughs> movie, by the way. <laughs> I can't see myself doing voice acting. Like, I don't have the voice for that. You got to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you an emotion. Mm-hmm. Play it off for me. Okay. You just got heartbroken, but your mom also just got ran over. How's your feeling? What? <laughs> Go. Like, how? Like, what do I say? You just sink into your emotions. Can you make yourself cry? Yes. Go right now. <laughs> I have to, like... I can make myself cry. We'll do it together. Okay, let me see. Ah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm too much pressure right now. Let me see. Keep thinking, keep thinking. What's up? <laughs> Oh, you could make yourself cry. Dude, that's a talent on its own. No wonder you're depressed. How do you, what you know you think about? you just ruined it. Dude, that's a talent right there. I can't ruin my makeup either. Yeah, no, no, don't ruin it. But dude, that's crazy. Yeah, I, 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 I try to teach myself when I'm alone. I don't do it I in front of I think I taught myself in elementary. Fool, where have you been sad your whole life? <laughs> no. When I'm, or when I'm drunk, I'm like a very like emotional drunk. But mm-hmm. I'm like a happy emotional drunk. Aww. Like I'm like, yeah, fool, I fucking love you, perro, but fuck you. Like, you know, like, I'm just happy. Like, I'll talk oh. a lot of shit. <laughs> I like want to dance like merengue and like shit Aww. like that. Can you know how to, do you know how to dance bachata? Um, bachata, no. Merengue? No, actually, no. I think I do, but like, I don't know. I kind of do like norteña or not. Mm, I like popangos. I like dancing fast. Okay, I okay. Hate, I hate dancing slow. Like, you know how there's chaka? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate dancing chaka so much. I don't. You're know like why. the fashion. Yeah. Where you guys are like hopping. Yeah, I love okay. that for some reason. I don't know why, but I remember when I was first learning how to dance. Me, it was like during a party, and I literally like me and my cousin, we danced for like two hours straight during the party, just so I could learn because Pico was like the weekend upcoming. Fuck. And I wanted to go to Pico knowing how to dance, so I practiced for like two hours straight. Over and over and over and over. That's crazy. Yeah, the only thing I know, I don't know how to dance is cumbia. My mom is from El DF, which is mm-hmm. the, like the cap. The, and they, my mom and them know how to dance cumbia with like a finger. Like, oh, like, like they'll switching. spin you and like. See, you. I don't know how to do that either. Yeah, I feel like fool. it's hard and it's like a lot of steps to like they, memorize. They, they do it a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do it a lot. It's like, fuck, how do we do that? So that's the only thing I don't know how to dance. I could dance punta. I don't know mm-hmm. how I feel about shaking my ass very much. You kind of like got to shake your ass a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know how to perrear, bachata, merengue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much everything. Everything pretty much. Corridos, I don't have corridos. Uh-huh. Other than that, mm, I'm whatever. <laughs> well, Tessa, thank you for coming. Very fucking funny one. I'm glad you mentioned that, Mom, because that was funny as fuck. So we're going with two. I feel like the team is settling with two. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. We gotta <laughs> give you a Spanish handbook. Do you know who Miss Rachel is? Miss Rachel? No. The the lady from YouTube. You know who that is? Okay, this is a lady that teaches kids like words. We gotta find like a Miss Rachel for adults in Spanish <laughs> for you. I heard really. Como is. esta Tessa? And you like, como? You know you follow the words. Uh-huh. Anything you want to tell the people? Um. No. Forgive me, that ass. <laughs> I wouldn't really say forgive me. <laughs> no, I would just be like, just keep doing you no matter what. Like, literally. Yeah. Not not on some, like, corny or anything. Just literally, no matter what comes to you in a negative or positive way, just keep doing you. And go listen to the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out our sponsors, Miss Big Chief. We'll give this to your mom, not to you. <laughs> Big Chief will come it. to your door. Just don't even leave Tessa in this clip right here. Just cut her out of it. Shout out, Big Chief. You feel me? You guys go tap in with them. They're one of our sponsors. My weed strain with them is coming out soon. You feel me? I might buy myself a car with that. It's a lot of money. It's good ass weed. Go buy it. Link in the description. Go chop it up. Go shop. Shout out, Big Chief. Love him to death. Bow. Tessa, thank you for coming. Of course. Thank you for Another episode of Chief Do Not. Stop being sad, fool. I'm not sad. Go out. Go have fun. I've been doing Get that. with number two. <laughs> not number. You know what? Three's cool. Mm-hmm. But number two got the bag coming. It's up. <laughs> Let's do it up. Let's just live life. Uh-huh. And I'll, um, I'll invite you to my birthday party. It's in March. You better. March 9. I don't know what day it lands on. I think it's a fucking Friday. What does March 9 land on? I gotta look. Let me see. Let me look real quick. <laughs> we get it together. March 9th on a Saturday, dog. Oh, that's pretty Oh, good. it's up. 
<laughs> we blacking out, baby. But yeah, Tessa, thank you for coming. Shout out your mom, shout out your sister. And we end this bitch. has been another episode of Cheese Mode with Duno. Make sure you guys go follow her, go show her love. And yeah, bow.